Hi guys, so today we will discuss about how web pages works, what is the process goes behind the scene. Okay, so whenever we put a web URL and access web page of our choice, in this scenario a computer, mobile or any device which is connected to internet and sending this request is called as a client in web development terms. While other physical computer located on a remote location which is connected to internet again and caters to the request of the client and send back response which contains the component files of web page is called servers. So the server is nothing but the physical computer located at the remote location. This server contains the files which are responsible for the application or website. These uh, files are the build files which may contain the HTML, CSS and JavaScript files which are generated for the build purpose or we can say hosting purpose. So when we put the web URL in our client device that is our mobile device or any computer device that request goes to the server. So server send the application build files as a response to the client back and those application build files are rendered on our client browser and then we see the website with all the UI elements. So this is a sim uh, simple uh, explanation for this. Let's discuss more in brief. Here we have updated design where we have included DNS. A DNS can be considered as an address book of all website URLs. Fine. So here we will take a consider a scenario where we can say a client browser is a mother of a person A okay while server is the supermarket okay so mother of person A told the person A to go to supermarket and bring some goods for the house okay so that supermarket XYZ is outside the uh, means it's uh, away uh, like 10 minutes away from the house so person A checks the Google Maps and finds the way how to reach there by walk or by any kind of transportation and he understood how he can reach the particular place that is supermarket XYZ so the person is checking the Google Maps and then it goes to the supermarket he take those goods pay for it and come back and give it all those goods to his mother so like this only whenever we put a web url in a web browser okay from our client device so the first request goes to dns which works as a google maps where it all has the address book okay it is a address book where all web url is present and for each web url we have a ip address ip address is the unique ip of the unique id of the physical device okay here it is a unique id that is ip address of a server where we will get the particular application code files so whenever client put uh, when a client take the request to the DNS, it checks for this web URL that is if we consider Amazon.in or Excalibur.com. Okay, so for that web URL, what is the IP address? It checks that IP address and send the request to that particular IP address that is the physical uh, device a server and once that uh, request goes to server, server checks, okay, and then it send back the whatever the application code files to the client location to the client browser and, and as we already know that application code files are the build, uh, build files of the web page and that will be rendered in our client browser so this is a very 
simple example again where it also includes all internet protocol like HTTPS protocol then TCP IP protocol but here we will not go into the deeper part as we will keep this all these things as a basics the application mail files most which we receive from the servers are consist of mainly HTML CSS and JavaScript okay so what is the purpose or what is the use of the HTML CSS and JavaScript files so we will consider it in a human anatomy uh, uh, example which is a very common or ex famous example to understand the HTML CSS and JavaScript okay so we will consider a human skeleton okay uh, as a HTML example so uh, we have you uh, just like a human human skeleton has some bone to a hand two legs okay so it is all bone structure okay like that HTML helps us to create the structure or the skeleton of the website it will create button tables heading paragraph okay so it creates the structure of that web page okay so HTML is a markup language that we use to show and structure our web content and this markup language also called as presentation language okay now we will move towards CSS so CSS is like a person wearing some fashion to look good okay he may he or she may wear a proper kind of fashion appearance and look better look good okay how a person present himself or herself to the world with the help of a fashion trends like that CSS is used to style and layout our web pages so each and every web page has its own unique theme or style so using CSS we can change font color size animation so in CSS files we write a style rules that will be applied to the HTML structure or HTML skeletons okay now we will move towards JavaScript so a human can do many many other functionality he can walk run eat drink all this functionality that makes the human dynamic or a very much uh, so many activities he can do so many activities so like that JavaScript is a scripting language that makes our website full of functionality it adds the dynamic uh, functionality in our website like it using JavaScript we can update the data change animation okay on button click open pop-up on search I input whenever we type some words it shows the automatic search options so these are the dynamic functionality which adds by JavaScript okay so this is the main purpose or main use of the three, lang three uh, languages HTML, CSS and JavaScript in our web pages that's it for today's session thank you guys